Hi, welcome to the channel. What I'm going to do today, one more job on the interceptor. Uh, we ordered a, a rear rack, so we've got something to put a bag on and a bit of luggage when we go away now. Got it from Hitchcox. It arrived, not yesterday, the day before, I think it was. Uh, now, when it was advertised, it was just a rack to fit the uh, 650 interceptor. When it arrived, the actual plastic bag it was in was givy, jivy, however it is you say it. So it's, it's, it's a quality, quality rack. Unpacked it, had a look. Very nice quality. Usual standard of MIG welding light, but it's all right. Positives, it looks nice. It's powder coated, looks well made. The negatives is the weight of it. I've not weighed it, but it is heavy. But I suppose for a, a rack, they usually put a safety limit of five kilograms or something like that on it. Uh, and we always put more on, don't we? We all just do it. Uh, so I'd sooner it be strong than light. So th this is heavy, but it is strong. With it, you get the fitting instructions, quite simple. And this is your fitting kit. There's an Allen bolts it comes with, which are a bit longer thread. There's four of those. Four spring washers. There's two spacers. Now, according to the information, uh, mount the spacers on the right-hand side. Uh, so that's between the grab rail and the rack. I don't know why, but we'll do as it says. Tools you need, I've got a ratchet, 12 mil socket, which is for undoing the original bolts underneath the grab rail. Uh, five mil, oh, sorry, six mil socket, uh, Allen key socket. So I've got my fan on again today because it's uh, red off again. What that's for, you have to slack the bolt on the left hand side of the suspension, just here, just slack it off so we can able to move the handrail uh, to undo that. Then this is the same size that fits the new Allen bolts to put back in. Right, I'll make a start. What we've got to do first is take the seat off. So you need to take this side panel off key in, pull this panel down, that's it, put that somewhere safe. The knob here just above the tools, pull that, pops the seat off. You don't actually need to take the seat off but it's, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to work, it's not got no restriction. Right, let me get a spanner. Need to take these two bolts underneath off here. Just leave that one in for the time being. Same this side. to put over the backlight unit. That's it, just save as least scratches as possible. Just let that sit there. Now I need to slack this shock absorber mount off. This here. That's it. That's all you have to do. It just drops the, the rail down here. Right. Let's have a look at the instructions. So the grab rail stays where it is. And if we do the right hand 
No, I think it might be as well just to put two bolts in the left hand side first. Right. Bolt, spring washer. In the rack. Just wiggle it down there. I think we're going to need that in first. It sits like that. I'm going to put the back bolt in first, so it's going to give me something to. Uh, It's quite a simple job this. You can do it yourself or just somebody give you answers to all the stuff but you don't need it. Right, that's got to start it right. Put the bolts and the spacer. I'm not quite sure why they've got these spacers, but there must be a reason. I'll just uh, double check. Yeah, under the grab rail on top of the rack. All right, let's have a look. It's showing it. Put the spacer on top of the rack. So you bolt, go through the rack, through the spacer, through your grab rail. And then you just pick up the original mounting points. Same with the back, that's your spacer. It's going to slide in there, look. Actual fact, this is one of the most simplest racks I've had to fit. Just do a much snug for a start so we can check the alignment of everything. Snug. Let's do the other side. Take a rag out now. Right, that's just snug. So I'm just going to check everything looks square to me. That's better. 
Yep. That looks good. All right, now we can tighten this up. Just about clears the indicators which are rubber mounted anyway. So, put the panel back on. Picks up the two mounting pegs. Push it in, turn the key. Seat on. There we go. Yeah, that's quite smart. I, I, I got this one because I liked how it followed this. Some of them have got big brackets all over the place. So now this should be good. One job we forgot. Your shock absorber mount. Then we get to retighten that back up again. There we go. So we've tightened all four bolts up. We've tightened the top shock amount up. Uh, the original bolts went through this grab rail, so that's okay. This been a, a Gibby rack. Uh, you can get the plastic plate the bolts to this, so you can have a quick release top box on as well. Um, but I'm not a big fan of top boxes. Yeah, they are useful. I just think they look pig ugly. Uh, I'd sooner have a waterproof roll bag which you can fit all this stuff in like now this side i'll just show you the bag i bought this is from a spanish company nice leather bag i've got to make some mounting brackets for this but this is going to sit just there like that uh, it's not very big but in this i'll be carrying my air pump electric air pump uh, i'm doing a tubeless conversion on the tires uh, so when that's done i'll just have uh, the the plugs you put in if you do happen to get a, a puncture <coughs> which is going to save me the ass of taking the wheels out and fixing tubes and whatnot on the side of the road but i think that should look pretty good on there and it's not going to be in the way of sue because we've put the relocator kit on for the foot pegs are a long way from this because usually when you put bags on it's like the footrest mount would be here now what usually happens is when you put your foot on it your heels hit in the bag uh, so hopefully this is we've got a few adjustments to do we're just waiting for a new touring seat to come which is going to be a bit comfortable other than this and i think it raises it a little bit so that's going to alter the angle of the leg as well so Found this useful, um, please subscribe, big thumbs up, any comments, leave them down below as you normally do, we always answer them and I'll see you in the next video then, cheers.